Good morning, it's Brian with Fitzpatrick's Garage Dublin Road, Kildare. I just want to show you this 2009 uh, Honda Civic 1.4 SE. Uh, Brian's my name. If there's any information you want in the car, give us a call 0455310000 or 0868431945. Um, or have a look at our website if you want to look at details www.hondacenter.ie. Um, or actually, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if uh, these videos are any good. Uh, it's car's a bit wet, guys. Sorry about this, but um, we have at the moment it's quite dry today and uh, there's a temporary building site just up the road that way and it is uh, there's droves of dust coming down so i just give this car a quick wash uh, because uh, it had a sahara layer of dust on it um so this car's just come in we haven't actually um serviced it um uh, yet but we will get it into our workshop pretty soon but let's have a quick look around it anyway the customer that traded in they traded in for a 2012 Honda Civic in the newer shape uh, but they went for diesel this time um, so this car um, has covered about 112,000 kilometers uh, came out of Klonsky Motors up in Dublin um, the previous owner had bought it there uh, which is another Honda dealer as well um, so in terms of the back let's have a look in the boot uh, I love the plenty of drops um, so in terms of the boot looks nice and tidy throughout um, and then we have our puncture repair kit uh, which should be sitting in there now my hands are wet from opening the boot but yeah puncture repair kit sits in there and then jack and wheel brace over there um, this uh, previous owner actually got a spare wheel so that's quite rare and they put the spare wheel kit into the car um, so that is actually a big bonus on Civics because they don't normally come with it uh, and it is about 300 euros um, so after that then uh, in terms of condition the rear bumper uh, I don't see any scratches one or two little deep down we'll have to get it um, get them buffed down when we clean up the car properly um, but on a black car that should be pretty straightforward rear quarter panel uh, looks good and down onto the driver's door looks pretty good let's have a quick look in the back while we're at it um, so again as we were saying the um, rear uh, doors and these open up at a right angle which is dead handy um, back seats look to be in very very good condition throughout three three point safety belts three head restraints eyes are fixed for child seats um, but condition's quite nice mats in the car which is always a good thing because it protects the underneath and then the magic seats on both sides so it just allows you to get in and out of the car um, if you have any awkward stuff to throw in but like if you lift them up i could walk through no problem so there's there's lots of space chai locks electric windows along the back um up front and the driver's door looks quite good onto the wing edge of the wing mirror yeah that's all good uh let's get the tires uh, don't look too bad um but what we'll do is we'll have a look around those when um when we get the uh car into our workshop uh, as we were saying in some of these videos Honda Civics are prone to stone chipping at the front uh, so they are um, but as a black car now again maybe because well, I actually can't see any at the moment but I'm sure there is one or two um, but I think the previous owners uh, driving was city based so I probably uh, that would make sense if it had very few again they're just little droplets you're looking at by the way they probably look like scratches but they're not they're just little water droplets um, looks very good throughout there's a small little stone chip there which we'll touch up um, and then after that all the way down the yeah there's one little dent along here that um, is quite small but we're going to get that sorted we have a um, a paintless dent removal expert so uh, what you can do is you can actually take out um, any little car parking dents and it doesn't leave a trace and the car doesn't have to be painted which is great and there's another little one uh, just there as well and there so those two so uh, they look bad but they're actually quite easy to rectify so they are um, so yeah after that I'd be quite happy condition wise once those jobs are done uh, mechanicals again as we were saying we will get into a workshop we'll have a look at it we'll have a quick look up front car um, does need to be serviced uh, there is a full documented history with it oh, no. Um, so same as the other dealer. well actually at the moment we have 209 Civics depending when you're looking at this video one of them might be gone uh, the other one's red um, but uh, yeah the service history is all stamped up so we'll continue to do that um, so seat condition and floor let's actually have a quick look at the um, my seat we're sitting in so that looks really really good 
Um, after that then on Civic, as I normally say, this does get quite worn, but this one looks actually quite good. Depends, so many people with their arms there, or clothes or whatever they are, if they, to put their hands there a lot, it just it, it wears because it's silver. Um, but uh, that looks pretty good. Electrics for windows, front and rear, and mirrors. Uh, average uh, fuel economy, speed, all that kind of stuff along through there. Um, speed up through there, uh, economy function along here, which is going to tell us if we're driving economically, or revolution counter, which is a shift light if we're driving aggressively, telling us to change gear. Uh, up here, our heating controls, and um, where we have the air to blow, and rear demister, and wing mirrors demist, which uh, that's it's so handy. Coming onto a dual carriageway, that's so handy because just in, well, okay, not this time of year probably, but during the winter, they all get fogged up. Uh, once you do miss that, by the time you get out of your driveway and literally drive out, uh, out of an estate or whatever, they'll be demisted, so it's so handy. Um, uh, on this then, just that kind of leather coating down along through there. Uh, gear knob is in pretty good shape, because sometimes you can get all worn down along there. Um, and then after that, some tissues. Uh, but, um, yep, everything looks uh, quite good condition-wise in terms of wear. And one thing that's unusual on this car, it's got a USB connector, which is uh, quite unusual um, because they didn't come with them until like 2011. Um, so that's really, really handy because so many people now, I suppose, use iPods and they want to charge their iPhones and things like that as well. Uh, so uh, driver, passenger, curtain, side airbags. Um, same on this side, a steel bar for side impact protection. So the great thing about these kind of cars these days is that um, like, Okay, actually, even to give you an idea, now again, this car has been taken over, so it's probably an inaccurate, but it was, he was averaging 6.3 litres per 100 kilometres, which is probably in the region of kind of 40-ish, uh, mid-40s miles per gallon, so that's pretty good. But a lot of people would say, I suppose, have been so um, nearly bullied into buying diesel cars these days through, ro well, not through Rotex, but just, even when they walk into dealers, like just the dealers, that even, I'm guilty of myself, you assume that people want a diesel car, but depending on the mileage you're doing, sometimes we'll say, a petrol car is less expensive to buy, it's more reliable because it's less complex than a diesel engine. Um, and over time, uh, sometimes for a lot of people it actually doesn't, while they're saving at the pumps, it takes up quite some time before they actually cancel out what they've actually paid for the car uh, extra. So, great thing about petrol cars like these, especially Civics, they're ultra reliable. Like So just it just makes pretty cool motoring. But um, anyway, uh, we're guarding Calair, we're here nearly 70 years. So if there's any information you want in the car, Brian's my name, give me a shout. And uh, thanks for taking time to watch and look forward to talking to you if this car is of interest.